Okay, so I said I was going to do it. Last time I did a review, I only did a review of the purple royal. This is the royal purple. I know this is a little dirty. i got to take off the cover and wash it. But this is the royal by purple. Got a little handle here. Uh, I did a review on this one already. It's very nice, thick, has rounded edges inside. By comparison, here is the purple ultimate. You can see the size difference. It's not that much. People say it's a lot thicker. It is not a lot thicker. Look at that. It's maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch thicker. It really is not that thicker. Look at it. I got my finger on here straight across. My fingers are not that thick. It's maybe a quarter of an inch thicker. You know, it's not that thick, uh, that much thicker. But it is definitely a bigger mattress. It is thicker. Uh, it's got square edges. They're not rounded off. And they, they compress just as hard. Um, one thing you'll notice, there's a it, your, your eyes are not being deceived. It is kind of like a, an indentation here. That's where your, that's where your uh, butt goes. So this is the back of the chair uh, where it should be sitting. So when you put this in the chair, this should be in the back so that your spine, uh, you know, your butt gets cushioned there. And it's, uh, I'll take it out and you can see what it looks like. I have another one right over here. It's already sitting in the chair. Along with, you'll notice I have the purple back cushion. Now the purple back cushion needs improvements. I mean, it's a, pur it's a purple cushion. Could be a little bit thicker. And one thing is, this connector sucks. You know, it's a strap, but it's always, I always find it falling down. It's never in the right spot where you need it. It should be higher up. And as you sit in it, it constantly is falling back. So it's, it does help a little bit, but the strap that attaches it to be better and it could be a little bit thicker uh, to give you that lumbar support that you need, you know. Um, so I'll take this out too. Uh, but first, this is a review about the Ultimate. Now, a lot of people say the ultimate, oh, it'll fit in the chair. Sure, it fits in the chair. As a matter of fact, it hangs over the chair and it has those square edges too, so they may dig into you a bit too. But you see how this is all floppy? This is huge. I mean, this, this is good for a couch. And I mean, I use them here in the office. I mean, it's great, but uh, in the front, it's too long. Uh, and I'm always finding myself standing up and pushing it back onto the chair for comfort. But you see how I have the this curved part, this indentation part is towards the back there. That's so that when you sit in it, your spine is aligned better. At least that's the thinking. Let me put this in the mount, my camera mount, and I'll sit in these chairs and I'll show you. Okay, so when you sit in this chair, okay, well, first of all, this could be up a little bit higher. There we go. See, see, I told you it's always dropping down. And you can even tighten it. It's still going to drop down on you. Now, it sits you up higher. It definitely does. Because the cushion does not compress you all the way. Uh, it does not compress all the way. So it does give a lot of support. But even sitting all day, you got to periodically get up and readjust yourself in that cushion. Because it will bend over, you know, the little pieces inside. Well, what do I mean by little pieces inside? Well... Let me take this out so you can take a look at what's going on, okay? So let me move this right next to here so you guys can take a look and see what's going on here. It has a zipper. There's no handle on this one now. Here's the, here's the bottom side. So you could take the cover off and you could clean it. This is the purple ultimate. Okay, pull it out. That's what it looks like. Ugh, what's all this crap coming out? It's the first time I ever took it out. <laughs> so I got all kinds of particles, part, uh, particulates that are coming loose. So I'm going to let you see that. Coming out of the purple cushion. You see all this? You can see it's full inside here. 
This is the first time I'm taking it out, but you know what? This could probably go under the sink and wash it out and get this crap off of it. I have no idea. Maybe these are just little whoopsie. Drop the phone. My camera here. Okay, so these are little pieces of rubber that are loose. I don't know if this is wearing away or if why there's little pieces of rubber here doesn't it doesn't look like it's falling apart anywhere oh, one little rip right there in the structure but it's all staying together pretty good so i don't know where that's coming from but that's a lot and i just all i did was you saw me all i did was pull it out of the out of its uh, cover look at all this so this is actually purple but it looks kind of black right here and this is rubber so I'm gonna have to clean that up but you can see the it's all along the side it's kind of like a dust over here it's really small Let's see well, well anyway so I guess you got to pull it out and run it under water and clean it every now and then. <laughs> you can almost see through it, or you can see through it, you see. There's the structure of the purple. Okay, it's a thick, compartmentalized. Okay, these are rubber or whatever kind of TP. TPS or whatever, TP, I forget what the hell they call it, types of uh, flexible rubber, but I guess in its structure, it's, if you push down on it, it's harder to push down. You can hear the suction now. It does collapse a little bit if you push to the side, so it does give. So it will give with your body weight. You can see the thickness of it and the sharp edges on it. But that's the bottom. The top of it is smaller squares. So thicker squares on the bottom, which go in about this deep. And then from this point on, it's these smaller squares. And the smaller squares give a little bit easier, and that's the part that you sit on. So it gives a little more cushion. And the thicker ones down the bottom are, have thicker walls, and uh, they're harder to compress. And if you look at the... The shape of that you see that shape this is where your spine goes all right so when you're sitting in this it's it's supposed to be better for your spine anyway uh, when you're sitting in that all right so it looks like the purple color fades a little bit underneath here too some of that purple I can see in areas it's not just the camera playing tricks on your eyes there are little areas here where the color is fading, but that doesn't matter. It's inside of a inside of a black cover anyway that you're sitting on. So, hold on one sec. Let me put this back in the case, and then I'm going to compare it to the others. So this next one is the purple, the royal purple. You can see the size this difference here. I'm putting it right to the edge, right to the edge over here. So you can see the size difference. The royal purple is definitely much larger, maybe about four inches wider and about three and a half inches, uh, I guess, the depth of it. And it's maybe about a quarter inch thicker. So it definitely is much larger than the royal purple. But the Royal Purple is pretty good for the office chair. Here, I'm going to put it on the office chair as well. And you guys can take a look. But I found it to be too small for the office chair. See that? In the office chair, this is how it sits. You got some extra room. You know, it would be good if they have one that's in between that's made to fit in an office chair like that. See, this is why the Royal Purple, you know, it's too big for this chair. It's even going to be too big for your car. Um, I mean, I could always take one out and put it out of my truck seat so you guys can take a look. As a matter of fact, we'll do that. Um, so, but 
This one you have to get to the right position, maybe sit it not all the way to the back, and then sit in it. Oh, that is actually very comfortable. And I don't know if you noticed, but with the, with the Ultimate, I was sitting up a little bit too high, but this one, my feet are kind of flat. I guess that goes for my height, I'm 5'7". Uh, so, I mean, you could always adjust the chairs and stuff too, but this one's very comfortable too. You know, the, the back support feels nice. It does feel nice, that back support, better than just the chair, but um, you gotta, you see what I'm doing? I'm always like this, adjusting it. If I ever lean forward, you gotta go back and adjust it. You're constantly doing that. But is it worth it? Well, I bought two of them, so I got one in each of my office spaces over here. Uh, so this is very nice still. This is the Royal Purple. Here, let me take it out of its case so that you guys can take a look at it as well. I know I took it out of the case in the previous review. Oh, look how dark it's getting. See, I guess you got to take these out. You got to wash them every now and then, not just the, uh, not just the covers. Let's see if there's any particulate that comes out of the royal purple like it did in the other one. No. But the royal purple uh, also, you know, it seems like it's got some different structure here. Some of them have these, some of them have this cross hatching on the bottom. But as you get closer to the edge, they don't. I guess this gives it more rigid, uh, rigidity in the center of the, of the seat. The edges, you can see, are rounded. And it's got the thick structure throughout. And on the bottom, it's got the smaller ones, but how deep do they go? How deep do they go? Not at all. These, so I don't know what this is. This is just some kind of a rubber support in each one of the squares. These are just rubber supports in each one of the squares. Look at that. They're, they're, there's no thickness to, to that, so I'm not sure of the purpose of what that serves. Maybe just to prevent it from spreading out too much. I don't know. But you can see this one looks kind of like getting some blackness to it. The, the purple is kind of fading. It's not as bright purple as when I bought it. So I probably could use a bath, wash this in the tub. Um, but this is holding its structure very good. I've had this several years now, and I've been using this one at my office at home. And this one I've been using, the per, uh, Ultimate, I've been using these at my, at my office workspace every day i use it when i'm gone another instructor comes in teaches another class and they use it so these things are being used from 9 a.m until 10 p.m and it's uh, it stands up it, it can take a beating that's for sure all right now let me give you one more comparison there's something that's called a company called Bulbhead or bulbhead.com. I'm not sure if they're manufacturers or just people that are selling these. These were called the egg sitter bamboo charcoal infused deluxe cover. Well, you could get the bamboo. Here's the stock cover that comes with it. It looks like the one, the cover that, that comes with the purple uh, ones. But then the difference lies in. Hold your, hold yourself right here. The, the difference lies in just the cover. This cover, the egg, see it says egg sitter everywhere on it. Um, this cover is supposed to be bamboo infused, whatever the heck that means. You know, bulbhead.com. I guess they are the manufacturers of deluxe egg sitter. Now this one is much, much smaller, okay, by comparison. Okay, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the Royal Purple. <laughs> Much larger, here I'll put this on top so you, you can see. Line them all up edge to edge here and you can get a good uh, vision of this, okay? So the Royal Purple 
I'm gonna take this off the stand so we can take a look. So the Royal Purple is maybe about an inch, inch and a half wider than the Egg Sitter. About two and a half inches deeper to sit in the chair. And by comparison, you see the, uh, the Royal Ultimate, okay? So that's the difference in them right there. See that? That's the shot. Okay. Now this is the egg sitter. Now, when we put them side by side, you can see it's got the same kind of uh, type of rubber, except it's blue in color. Uh, it's got that same contour as the ultimate does in the back for your spine. However, it's just thicker in the front and it goes shallower in the back. I'm going to take this and put it on different table here so that you can see and there's my other royal purple um, let's see if you can even see and notice that it is a difference it is thicker here and thinner here here you can, you can see how much thinner uh, it's thinner right there it only goes up to about here my finger and the back uh, it's about halfway, so it's about twice as thick in the front than it is in the back. Um, and it's it's really small. It doesn't offer much support, but it offers some. Go back to our chair and move these covers out of the way. Throw it on the chair and you can see how it sits. Once again, way out from the back and the edges, but eh, it gives you some support, I guess. Um, so egg sitter, it's pro it's, I don't think it's as good as they marketed it to be, but, uh, it's better than nothing. It's kind of like, and they're cheap. They're much cheaper. I think you get two of them for 50 bucks, but then again, it's half the rubber that's used in the Royal, uh, and the purple Royal. It's actually not that bad though when you sit on it. It feels like it does give you a lot of support even though it's much thinner. So there may be something to these rubber technologies and this collapsing support. Uh, you know, the wider support or if you push in a small area, it collapses down on you. Um, there is something to that technology. All right, sorry I'm sweating. It's hot in here right now. Uh, okay, so and then having the royal purple on your back. This little thin egg sitter isn't that bad, actually. So if you're looking for a cheaper solution than these, that egg sitter might not be a bad one. However, it's not that much cheaper than the Royal Purple. So you're gonna have to see if you're penny pinching, it, it may be worth it for you. Okay, so let me take this out so that we could take a look at it. Let me put it right over here point this camera right here so you can see everything that's going on all right okay so we take it out and you can see it's a bright blue color inside by contrast to the purple right but you see they got some kind of a same kind of a cellular structure to it it is rounded on the edges smooth rounded too um but it's the same type of feeling material here you can see it's not that it really is not that thick in the back. It collapses really easy. I'm gonna put it on the, I'm gonna put it down on the table and push on it and you'll, we'll see how it collapses. Then on this side, it's much thicker, see? So you see how, tight, how thin it is on this side? Right here, it's double, okay? And this is the cellular structure of it. It's just, what is that, an octagon compared to the square uh, the square cell structures in the purple. All right, so let me put this down over here. Whoa. This is a mess. This is a mess. Okay. But anyway, you put this down on the table right there like that. You can see, you can see the curve to it. Here, let me lift this up. Uh, move this camera. So maybe you get the right angle and you can see that there is a, a difference here. Okay. 
and it's thinner in the back. But it seems more rigid when it's sitting down. When I when I got it up, it's all floppy and all over the place. But you can hear it gives that same kind of suction as the purple cushion does when you're sitting on it. So it it does give resistance when you're pushing in a wide area. But you know, in with your fingers in small areas, it gives way. So if your body, you know, it will conform to the shape of your body, but it will give some kind of support. Just not as much as the purple because it's not as thick, okay? But it does work, okay? So let's take a look. This is the wrapping up. That is the egg sitter. That is the purple. And let me move this ultimate, and I'm gonna put the ultimate one right next to this. And the ultimate. So there you go. Here's the egg sitter. It's the egg sitter. We get the ultimate, and I'm sorry, the royal and the ultimate. So egg sitter, royal, ultimate. These two are by purple. This one is by bulb head. And that is my review. It is a contour there, believe it or not. I mean, you can see it sideways a little bit. You can see that contour, how much it comes down. That contour comes down at a rake of maybe about a half an inch to an inch. And then over here, it's actually in this area where it comes down, it's actually lower than the royal purple. And that's where your spine goes. The royal purple doesn't have a contour like that. It's pretty much flat. The egg sitter does have a contour towards the center and, whoop, oh sorry. The contour goes towards the back. This is the back of it, where it's thinner. Okay, now sitting down, it doesn't look like it's thinner, but you saw when I stood it up, or when I hold it up, you can see it's thinner in the back, about half the thickness of the front. And the, you can see a curve here. You can see the curve right there, right? You can see, that it is the correct curve. And uh, it actually is not that bad. But you got to shop around, compare the price to the Royal, and then the Ultimate Purple. And that is my review for those. I'm Vic, signing out. I uh, got any questions, feel free to ask. Oh, one more thing. We're not signing out quite yet. I'm going to take one of the Purples out, put it in my truck, and see how it fits on the seat. And uh, we can see how, well, we're going to know that one's going to fit fine. This one we'll see, and then that one we'll see. So I'm going to take these two purples out, and we'll see how they look on my truck seat. Now, one more thing you may be asking. Let's see how difficult it is to put these things back inside. How do you put them back inside of here? Because that could be a pain in the butt if you're just grabbing it and it's trying to stick it in here little by little. Okay, I found the easiest way to get these in is maybe just fold them up, you know, squeeze it, fold it. It goes right inside like that. There's a tag. Zip it up. And then you get the layout of it, it'll fit again. Okay. Open up that zipper and reach your hand in here. Any kinks in this rubber, because this, this TPU rubber on this egg sitter seems to be a little more flexible. And when it gets a shape, this shape inside the cover, it tends to keep it. So we want to make sure that we have the shape set up right out to the edges here in the cover. So it's not all bent up inside there. Because it will keep that bent up shape whereas the purple will 
is more rigid. Okay, there we go. That's nice. I'm sweating all over it. Okay, so there's one. And I'll show you how to put the purple back in. We'll put the royal first. Okay, this one's inside out. And it's the right side. Okay, so okay, they've got their. Show you how to clean on this tag. Under penalty of law, do not rip this tag except by the consumer. Okay. Consisting of gel pad 100%. So the purple is gel pad 100%. Made by Inhold Inc. in Alpine, Utah. Here are the dimensions of the purple. Okay, so here's the tag on the purple. The cover is made in China, fill and finished in USA. So I hope that the purple mattress part, that's the gel pad, I hope that that part is made in the United States. It doesn't say. It says that it's stuffed in in the United States. And here's the dimensions of it, 45 by 39 by 5 centimeters. Okay, so... Hang tight, you get the purple opening cushion. And this one looks like we may have a little more difficulty getting it inside, seeing as the cushion doesn't look like it even covers <laughs> the mat, right? The cushion doesn't even look like it even covers the mat. So it does, it does. Okay, so what we're going to do is... You can either take it little by little like that, or, like I said, scrunch it up, pull the mat over. Scrunch it up, pull the mat over. Make sure I have the right way when I'm doing it. I am. By the way, if you look at this, I don't know if this is perfect dimension. There may be a back to it, but it's definitely wider here and deeper here, so we're going to uh, zipper problems. Okay, fingers. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to scrunch this whole thing up and stuff it inside. See how that works. Scrunch it up, you see it flexes. So we got it all scrunched up in there. Make sure we put the tag in. We got the whole thing scrunched in there. Let's zipper that tag up. Zipper the tag up. Zipper the bag up. And it fits. Voila. It's actually not that hard to get back in. And then you can see it form fits. Because it's stuffed in there good. If you need to, just like the other one, open it up. You know, make that rubber stretched out throughout. I see that there was an area was bunched up over there a little bit. That's the bottom. That's the top. And this one's going to get carried out to the truck. Okay? Now, the big one. The one with all the dirt that's coming out of it. This one, in honesty, it does get a lot of use. But this is not dirt coming from somebody's butt. That is dirt coming from, well, it's not dirt, it's rubber coming from here. So anyway, we gotta get this back in here. And the zipper goes towards the back. So, let's see how the size comparison is. It's almost as big as it, but remember, it's also a lot thicker. So, we're going to have to do some uh, squishing of this one, too, right? Oh, this one does have a side carry handle. You can see that? It's got the side the carry handles on one of the sides. So, i got to put my leg up to it. Put one end in there a little bit. Scrunch that up. 
even fold it up if you need to, just to get it in. This one's a little bit bigger. Probably be easier to do with two people. Let me get that in there. Okay, got it almost all in. Boom. Got it all inside. Now it's all inside. I'm gonna zipper it up. Okay. Make sure it fills out the bag. And then we're going to feel it, see if it's sitting right. And it is sitting right inside, so it really wasn't that hard to do. And it's got its own handle, and we're going to carry this one out to the truck now, too. Right after I clean up that paper.